Hai guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone So today we are going to discuss about uh, another item analysis called discrimination index If you still remember two things that we are going to do, that we need to do in analyzing test item uh, it deals with the difficulty index as well as discrimination index and today we are going to discuss about the discrimination index but before that you have to understand uh, the function or the objective of test of the item analysis the first one it is to select the appropriate item for the final draft and then the second one it is to obtain the information about the difficulty value of all the items it has to be related between the difficulty value or the difficulty index and the discrimination index. And then to provide discriminatory power to differentiate between the capable and less capable examinees for the test item. Remember, test item. So you are going to analyze based on each item. And then it is to provide the modification to be made in some of the item. And then to prepare the final draft properly, easy to difficult item. Okay, something that you have to remember is that after you analyze test item one by one, you have to calculate the 27%. So you are going, for example, we have like 20 students and then uh, after you understand, you arrange the score and so forth, you are going to analyze the percentile range for 20 students, 20 27% of the upper level, and then do 27% of the lower level, okay? Uh, okay, so basically, what is the discrimination index? The discrimination index is the index of discrimination, uh, is the ability of an item on the basis of which the discrimination is made between the superior and inferior. It means that the discrimination index indicates the students who perform well and those who perform poorly on a test. Okay? In order to do that, there are three types of discrimination index. The first one is the zero discrimination or no discrimination. And then the second one, it is the positive discrimination. And then the third one is the negative discrimination. When we talk about the zero discrimination it, or no discrimination, it means that the test item of the test is answered correctly or known by or are all examining know the answer quite well and then the second one is that it happens when a number of students in the upper group and the lower group will answer the test correctly or equal assuming that we for example 27 percent of the student assuming five students and then five students upper and lower level they answer correctly for an item it means that it is a zero discrimination and then positive discrimination is an item is correctly answered by the superior only or or and it is not answered correctly by the inferior it means that who kind of uh, those who are categorized as smart students they answer correctly but those who are not really good enough in uh, doing the task they couldn't answer the test well. The discriminative power range between plus one to negative one. Okay. Then the negative discrimination index it means that the item is correctly answered by inferior and is not answered by the superior. Okay. In order to do that, you have to remember. To remember the formula that the discrimination index is the number of the student in the upper group who answer the test item correctly among of those for example we have like 30 students so you are going to count like 15 15 for uh, you are going to count like 27 percent multiplied by 30 again later we are going to practice it and then bb means that 
27 of the number of the student in the lower group who answered the test item correctly. JA means the 27 of the number of the student in the upper group, and then JB is the 27% of the number of the student in the lower group. Here's the formula. If it is below then 0.19%, Nineteen percent poor, and if it is, for example, zero point seventy to one, it's going to be excellent. You are going to read it this one. Um, how about the criteria for selection and rejection of item? Positive discrimination index only selected. Okay, negative and zero discrimination items are rejected. High and low difficulty value items are rejected okay so you have to remember this and then uh, the relationship between difficulty value and the discrimination index both difficulty value and discrimination index are complementary not contradictory to each other so they complete each other. Both should be considered in selecting good items. If an item has negatively discriminate or zero discriminate, it is to be rejected. Whatever the difficulty value is, they complete each other. And this is the criteria for that. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.